and I'm very excited to uh, be interviewing the guy who put together the incredible array of panels and workshops for the festival, which in my opinion are pure gold as far as information for filmmakers, actors, producers, and so on. Mr. Michael Hare. Well, thank you for your, your extraordinarily kind words there, Jim. Not at all. Um, yeah, we got, we got kicked off today with more of the industry-specific panels. There was one on SAG and then another one on post-production. Screen Actors Guild. The Screen Actors <laughs> Guild, for those of you not in the industry, and I guess. there are such the, people. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, and may, I, may I throw something in here? I want to say that uh, my acquaintance with Michael, what camera are we on, by the way? Uh, my acquaintance with Michael goes back to uh, about eight years ago, eight or nine years ago, when I was doing a local uh, cable access TV show, a word game called Wordsworth, and Michael was one of my, uh, a dictionary game, and Michael was one of my first guests, and he is a very learned, word-oriented person. That so was a, it was an adaptation back. of the uh, parlor game Balderdash, I yes, believe. Yes, yes. Anyway, enough of that. Okay. Uh, and Bridget Kelly, my co-interviewer. Yes. Uh, congratulations on this incredible film festival. Uh, I know that uh, the local industry, film industry, um, television industry, film industry is very excited about the panels and workshops that are happening this year. And I know that you had a big hand in coordinating them. Tell us uh, a little bit about the workshops. Okay, well, what we tried to do this year was uh, look at look at the audience uh, from two perspectives. One were the filmmakers who were coming here, or even local filmmakers, and then other general attendees, and have a nice mix. So, like I was saying earlier today, we had one about the Screen Actors Guild and contracts and post production. And later on in the week, we're going to have things around an actors panel. So you're going to see Dabney Coleman and Wes Studi. There's going to be kind of an inside the actor studio type format with Ellen Curris who's our tributee for the Kodak Cinematography Award. And then we're also going to have one with television productions in state, Breaking Bad, In Plain Sight, Crash. Going to have some of the producers and network execs from that. So it's going to be a mix of kind of general audience, entertainment-oriented stuff to more industry information-oriented. Trying to keep the mic near your mouth, Michael? Thank you. I'm, I'm actually not <laughs> that versed in this, but anyhow. And, and by the way, I also want to throw in another thing about Michael, uh, is that he is a uh, serious, active TV producer. You have a show on Showtime. Am on I Stars, correct? actually. Stars, excuse me. That's okay. And tell us about it. Uh, we just wrapped our fourth season. Uh, it's Martin Lawrence Presents the First Amendment. It's a hosted stand-up comedy format with a uh, half hour with a host. You bring out three or four comedians. We have Martin Lawrence, who got started in Def Jam in the early 90s with Russell Simmons. And now that he's certainly done well in his career, he's kind of reaching back and wants to give new up-and-coming comedians a chance to, to get a shot. So a guy who is really accomplished in the industry and knows people has put the panels together. And I think that partly accounts for the quality of the panels and workshops. But have, you haven't mentioned every uh, workshop that's coming up, have you? Some of the ones that are coming up tomorrow, we um, have... Tomorrow, which will be today, but okay, we're okay. referring to uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. On Thursday, we've got we've got three, and it's a nice mix. We have for independent producers, we have something around the nonprofit resources in the state. A lot of people focus on the higher profile production incentives, which are really geared toward commercially driven products offered by the state. Absolutely yeah. right, and so on a no budget, low budget level there are actually a lot of resources as well whether it's New Mexico Women in Film, um, the New Visions program out of the film office, uh, National Association of Latino Independent Producers or even the Sundance Institute and we have someone from their documentary program coming out. So again something that is really gold for people who are producing films and looking to, uh, looking to produce films to hear from real experts as to what's available. Right, and then and then toward the latter part of the day, we have a guy coming out from LA who's taught some classes at USC on fundraising for low-budget films, and it could be anywhere from fifty thousand dollars to a couple million dollars. And he's been presenting at several major festivals around the country, and we're going to have him this year. So he's doing that from three to five. 
Uh, I, I'd like to go back to the, the panel that happened today. Okay. Um, I, I believe uh, one of the exciting things that's going on is what is termed new media, yes. which is oh, yeah. actually what we are doing right now. This is uh, live, streaming a webcast, webcast. Yep. Um, streaming. Can you talk a little bit about what new media is? I'm, I'm looking at uh, something here that says there's more than just film in New Mexico film. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we have three television shows uh, that shoot in New Mexico, as well as all of the independent film. Uh, one of the things that is coming up um, is th this new sort of uh, new media. D talk a little bit about that. Yeah, there was there was a. It was interesting that we had a panel today that was nominally about post production, but it's not. It, if you look at it in a much broader context, and and this is where it evolved during the, the, the 90 minute session today, people were talking about other types of productions, not just TV, not just film, all that kind of stuff, but talking about educational content or content that you can put on the web that people are gonna go and get continuing education credits for, or even working uh, to help local businesses promote their services and goods on online. or. Later on in the week, we're going to have one about online and mobile distribution. So there's a lot of talking about not just the standard, and we are going to talk about that as well as far as distribution theatrically on television and DVD, but we're going to be talking about a lot of the, the newer platforms as well. Right, right. You're really, you're really approaching there the uh, additional new sources of revenue that didn't exist before. Isn't that correct? Absolutely. In workshop. Yeah, and, and, and what's interesting is when you look at the online mobile panel, for example, the money is still, for the most part, in your theatrical, your TV, your DVD, as far as actually trying to get dollars for your project. But using the web to generate buzz so that you're actually going to optimize your revenue from those more traditional, so to speak, distribution rights and, and, and avenues is a way to go about it. So we're going to have someone, for example, from Sony Pictures Image Works, who's going to be talking about the way that they market their films online and mobily so that they can generate the dollars in the theaters and in DVD and, and hopefully on TV as well. Are there any other panels that we haven't asked you about specifically, workshops and panels that you want to mention? Yeah, there's, there's, there's one that's uh, more of a true workshop that is uh, Thursday, Friday, and they've broken it up into modules and it's run by the Santa Fe Mac Users Group. Oh, right. and, it's, and it's really from start to finish through pre-production. Everything from budgeting and scheduling to brainstorming, the screenwriting, all sorts of different things. And looking at a lot of the software tools that you can use. Everything from free tools to low-cost tools to some of the more expensive higher-end tools for the Mac. So those are really hands-on, technical type of seminars that we're going to have as well. Well, I want to congratulate you uh, again directly for the quality and the variety of panels and workshops you put together. I've used the word gold, I think, twice already, but I'll say it again. People who are in this business enough, I mean, on the production end, to uh, want to do film need to get this information that you've put together here. Well, thank you much.